is going on guys, this is Flare Guy one here, and I'm doing the review of Trackmaster 2. You go. I bought this at Target, which was on Wednesday, and I saw Hugo, and I've seen Ryan and Jerome and Wayne Thomas, all three you were there, and this was the last one. I was lucky to find this one. Well, let's take a look at the box. And it says there, Hugo's propeller spins. So that's interesting to see. And test Hugo's propeller. Collect them all. Two AAA batteries. And it says here, in the Thomas and Friends episode, Hugo and the airship. A blast of air from Hugo's propeller sends Skiff the Robot on a wild ride. Featuring Hugo with the spinning propeller and Skiff, this pack lets you recreate the first encounter between these unique characters. Along the back of the box is Wayne Thomas, Hugo and Skiff, and Ryan and Jerome. Uh, yeah. so let's go ahead and unbox Hugo. And this will be in fast motion. Okay, so here we have Hugo. This truck full of crates being blown away by Hugo's propeller. And Skiff. And this is my very first Trekmaster 2 Skiff. Let's take a look at Skiff. Get some railboat tours. The sail actually moves a little bit. Twenty forty planes almost limited. Oh, you probably may not see, but the, the screws are all messed up. Uh, this tab right here, I have, no idea what it, I have no idea what it's all about. It's probably from the Thomas set from Sona's Land of the Lost Treasure. And I'm going to take the comparison with the Playrail skip. So, here is Playrail skip. And, uh, this is quite large. The Trackmaster 2 skit is quite large. Well, the Playroll 1 is smaller. And this just uh, skits nameplate, and this said skits Rubble Tours. But yeah, quite a difference. What a difference in size and forms. Well then. That's interesting. Now let's take a look at the truck. It's to said these hideous gray hooks and couplings, which I hate. Because they snap from trains easily. Now let's take a look at the cargo first. And now I've seen Hank American Engine's review of Trekmaster 2 Hugo. He has no idea what the green tarp is. Well, I figured it out now. Well, the green tarp is just like the balloon slash balls that came from Player R. Rosie. So, there's the underneath. So, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Box the Fisher Price for this interesting cargo. Let's take a look at the instructions first before we take a look at Hugo. Blah blah blah. Now let's take a look at Hugo.
Now I have to say, a lot of people are impressed with Hugo. And I have to say, here's the face. Probably cool. Here's Hugo's propeller. So that's interesting, but he has the coupling hook at the end. I've heard that one of the episodes featuring Hugo, he said that I can't even put cars on coaches. Well, I think it's probably because of his propeller. And Hugo looks outstanding. It looks incredibly amazing. He looks awesome. Now let's put the batteries in Hugo. Very interesting chassis. Different than the others. 2016 Gawain Thomas Limited. Okay, send it. Let's go run Hugo. Alright then. Here is the chassis, and we are going to put the batteries in. Not that fast, but so let's take a look at the chassis again. There's a few people right here. I'm pretty sure that operates Hugo's propeller. As you can see, there is a gear. So that's why. That's interesting. So. I'm probably going to modify you go with trimming down the activation tab. If I have to. I've wrote on Hank American Engine's video that it actually works on Trackmaster and told me track so that'll be interesting I'll probably modify Hugo I'll be right back or there will be a run we're at the railway and here comes Hugo's run Up the hill, by Hugo. That hill climb, that hill climb, that hill climb reminds me from the episode Hugo and the airship when he's trying to fly in the air. So, YouTubers, there it is. The review of Trackmaster 2 Hugo. Now I have to say, this is an outstanding locomotive. Even when when he turns on, and when you turn him off, the propeller actually spins for a short time. After Hugo, whose motor has been off. He's quite fast, but not that fast. Well, it did file down the activation tab. Focus. That's why I chose the light, because... We're using the focus the better. Come on, stupid camera. Yeah, you see that? Well down the activation tab. So yeah. Hugo is actually based off from a German rail zeppelin. And this is 
a true fact. I'm German. And uh, both me and Hugo are German. So, uh, that is interesting. Now, I didn't, I did not get Ryan and Jerome because I was not interested by Jerome because he's quite smaller than the breakdown cream that came with Playrail Mavis. So that's interesting. This is a great locomotive. The propeller is a nice touch. What an interesting engine. This has been an unboxing review. This is Fire Guy on One here saying thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.